Hey, how's it going, friends? I'm using a tool today called Tile.io. It's a great new web-based graphic design tool that I've uh, really fell in love with the past few days. Uh, I've, of course, used many of the other tools. Tile's got a few features that really excite me, and you'll see I'm making uh, bulk images in this video, and I'm really only changing one the name or one element of the text rest of the mems are staying the same and I found Tile to help me fly through this process. Uh, a point of note, Tile is primarily designed to make simple social videos. I'm using it in this case to bulk make images. So uh, check this out. I've got a long list of Essentially, people I'm giving, people or organizations I'm giving a shout out to on social media. And so, let's see here. I am simply updating and changing the title. I have made this template or I've, I've formatted one of the, the default templates that are provided. I inserted this image, it's my image, changed it text appropriately and then this element is the only uh, piece I'm changing this text is the only piece I'm changing uh, on any of the mems and so I've lined up 25 slides or 20 Tao calls them slides so to me they're individual mems or individual they'll be downloaded as individual PNGs so this is how tile tile uses these slides to line out the scenes for social videos that, that, uh, that their site produces. And I can still do a social video, but in this case, I'm gonna actually, with two clicks, download all 25 of these images individually. So stay with me as we blow through this. You can see if you make a list of tools, and now watch this, this is so cool. I'm not even gonna click done. And I'm just going to simply scroll forward and if I, it's the moment I click somewhere else, that section, that, that text will complete. And so I just, I feel like it's super smart. It's literally saving me clicks along the way. I'm copying, I'm pasting a name that I'm placing in here. I'm not even clicking this done. I'm just simply scrolling down and essentially initiating my next copy paste and the one before is complete automatically so run on here again so I, the, the speed in which you could crank out mems which are very similar is uh, amazing and, and and note this is what's cool tile these are these are responsive templates so if i enlarge the text here it's going to adjust that image as best it can. I'm just going to make this one a little bit smaller, right? There it is. Group. So it expanded my image. It is adjusting it every step of the way. Okay, that looks good. So we're talking about smart, responsive mem making here. So let's keep going. I'm on number six. I'm going to do 25. Super fast, lightning fast. Let's see how fast we can do this. We're talking about making some mems. Batch making some mems. That's how we do it here at the Platform Shop, folks. We have got to find ways to be efficient. I know I lose focus. I know you probably struggle with that as well. And in this video, we're going to make the 25 mems. Going, keep rolling. Okay, we're on ten. So that wasn't very long. Some 
progress. And I'll show you how I copied and paste, or how I repurposed these 25 for, for the next round. I've, I've got a couple hundred of these mems to make. And so tile makes it easy to duplicate the entire group here of 25. They do recommend 30 is the maximum number of slides per uh, card is what they call it. So. Each one of these here is a card. I'm making 25 slides maximum in each one, or again, in, in my terms, 25 mems. So let's see where it's going. These are different. Ministry, Christian, religious groups that highlighted on my new website called Faithbase. Okay, now we're on 19. So we're, we're closing in on the closing in on the 25 mark. Minor bit of air myself in the cursor really fast. I duplicated some of these terms. Okay, back to 19. Corrected my minor mistake. We're still going to do this in very Reporter. Hopefully this will inspire you to get going on your content building bonanza. We all know that content is king. We're in online marketing in any way, shape, or form. So... I love how it's going to responsibly adjust automatically. Three, four. So those scrolling back to check these saved process correctly. So now I'm going to save this batch of 25. Show you how I download. Click done. You can still order the video, which will or, or request the video. I'm subscribing to Kyle, by the way, so that I'm in use right now. I did get a quick coupon code by contacting through to them. It takes a handful of seconds to process, but then I find the process uh, the, the the flow really quick. Movie clip request, yes. So they're gonna email me that within five minutes. Okay, that's in motion. Now I'm gonna download all images. You can see how I could individually download any of these individually numbered images for 25. I'm going to just say bring all images to me as a zip. Let's do this. And I mean, we're talking about some crazy speed, honestly. It's, it's, it's just it's amazing. So, oh, I need to extract this. So the zip came. Saying yes to the extract. So now we're here. So these are the images we were just working on. 
Uh, is that cool or what? No. Back to continue this process, because remember I said I had several hundred of these, so doing 25 a pop or 25 per card. I'm going to click there on my last card, which we just downloaded. I'm going to duplicate. This is important because this will save you a little, little bit of trouble. Watch, the first thing you do is when you're in the, a new batch that you've just duplicated, just save it. And so it will ensure that this card appears as its own. So that this is the, the duplicate that I just, I just saved. And I'll go edit info. Number eight for me. And so this batch is ready. Guys, Tile IO is awesome, and I really hope you check it out and enjoy it. I would appreciate it if you subscribe to the platform shop. And God bless you and everything you're doing. Thanks so much.